to squeeze out up here. Tight bond original is the only way to go for stuff like this. I did use hide glue on the braces on the inside just because it was already, I mean that's you know what they used at the factory and I didn't want to combine glues because that's not a good thing either. So anyway, there you have it. It's all clamped up. This is going to be a neat guitar. Next step after this, I will be uh, having to redrill the, the holes for the bridge and put the bridge back on. Um, I do see squeeze out inside, so that's good. I can't really clean much of that up because my hands don't fit inside of there. But, might be able to spread it out a little bit along that edge and along the kerfing with the old trusty Harbor Freight glue brush. Harbor Freight, you should sponsor me. There we go. We got the top on this Richter glue, or the back on this Richter glued. Next step, like I say, after uh, taking the back or the clamps back off, we'll be uh, fixing this bridge and putting it back on. The, the actual pins, the end pin for the strap and the pins for the uh, uh, strings are, is made out of Purple Heart. Uh, they used a few exotic woods back in the day. All of this rosette here is all made out of exotic uh, hardwoods. So that's kind of neat. Um, these stencils, this was very common to do on, on these parlor size guitars. It's got very thin, small brass frets. A couple of them I'm going to have to repound on the ends because they're starting to come off a little bit. Uh, I believe it's a birch. The, the guitars are all made out of birch. And I believe that the uh, uh, fretboard is actually birch also that's been dyed. It's got a wooden nut. The tuners are all original and in beautiful condition. Still work. The celluloid buttons are in great shape. Uh, when I restring it, all these old guitars, they get uh, Labella Silk and Steel. Again, I'm not sponsored by Labella, but if, hey, Labella, if you want to sponsor a guy, I do, all, I do a lot of restorations, and uh, they're going to start all being filmed and put on to, uh, to YouTube. So, anyway, guys. Uh, Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. This is going to be another victim of my restoration work. This is an all original Supertone round hole arch top guitar. And again, it has the stenciling, it's from the same era. This is a F32 model. It was made in 1932. It's round back. The fretboard is popped on it. The top's kind of warped here a little bit. Uh, I'm going to have to try and bring that down some. The fretboard is completely dried out and uh, it's actually cracked in a couple spots and it's missing an inlay. It's got this really neat mother of toilet seat uh, headstock cover on it. Very neat guitar, all original. This was my customer's great grandfather's and uh, he wants it restored and playable again. And uh, he heard, he's actually not from my area, he's from about 150 miles away, and he heard that I was the guy to do this kind of work. So uh, I truly appreciate that, but this will be one of the next victims on the uh, chopping block here. Uh, very neat guitar, first one I've ever seen. Uh, I've read about them, but never seen one. This is made by Harmony. Uh, so these two both came out of Chicago, and they're both very similar. Could have been the same luthier that made them, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, this is the kind of stuff that, that we do here at Shoemaker Guitar Works. I also wanted to show you, let's see, this is my store. 
and we've got instruments for just about everybody about every price range so anyway if anybody out there in uh, YouTube land need any uh, any kind of music look me up on Facebook Shoemaker Guitar Works or Thad Shoemaker either one uh, or also you can look me up on uh, my website and send me an email through that way www.shoemakerguitarworks.com but uh, you guys have a great day we'll see you later